Right then, uh, hello everybody. I thought I would show you the tune-up procedure for the Yesu FT200. It is important to tune and match the output to the air wheel. Uh, as you look, we're on the CW section of 20 meters. Uh, we cannot obviously do that on that particular frequency. That wouldn't be fair because he's obviously transmitting. Um, so what you need to do is find a clearer spot when about the middle of the band, which would be 175. There we go. You then peak the grid control, the pre-selector, for the maximum noise. Which is about in the middle. Turn your volume down. Switch onto the dummy load. Turn the mic gain to quarter two. Then flick up the operator switch to the operation position. Turn the SSB control to tune. You'll notice that there's a lot of deflection on that meter of over 400 milliamps. You do not want that amount of milliamps. You then have to dip the plate. This is the plate control which is in the middle. There's not much of a dip but there is on there. Turn down that until you get about... Hang on, there's something not quite right here. Um, that shouldn't be happening. Right, let's use the dummy load in, in, in the meter. Right, there you are. You then dip the plate, and then what you would do then is you move the load control for them for for power on your power meter. You peak the power. He's ten watts. You go up a little bit more, and see how much you, you get. Just over ten watts. You then have to raise your grid control. He is now running at approximately 15 watts. That is on the mic gain on very low. Uh, you must do this quickly. Obviously I wouldn't be doing it at this speed if I was doing it myself. There is over now 500, uh, over 100 watts. So that is exactly 100 watts on 10 meet, on 20 meters. Um, the best way to demonstrate this again, an easier band to tune, obviously, would be 40 meters. So I'm going to go on to 40 meters and select 100 on 40 meters. Uh, we're using the dummy load. We will turn off the dummy load and peak the pre-selector for maximum noise which is there. This is twice so I can show you how to do that. The switch must be on tune. The meter must be on Cohen on IC. Um, the dummy load will then be switched in on the meter. That's why you get no sound. Make sure the mic gain is low on quarter two. Flick up the operator switch. Go down. Put that in the middle. Put this up on roughly on 7 mags, which is 40 meters. Tune for a dip in the meter. This is the, in the current meter. As you dip, the power should go up. As you notice, when it dips, starts to dip, the power goes up on the power meter. By moving this control, the load control, you peak that for maximum power. All the time moving this other knob, to get the most power that you can get on the meter with the minimum current. Next, just tweak your pre-selector to bring the power up a bit more. And keep twiddling these controls for maximum power with the mic gain set at quarter two. Increase the mic gain so the set reads about 50 watts. And then peak the pre-select the uh, load and plate control 
to get nearly 60 watts. You must leave cooling off periods when doing this. I'm not doing it because I'm cheating. 100 watts. Through then move it slightly to get higher power. That is now 150 watts on 40 meters. The idea is, is to tune the wig for 10 seconds and let it cool off for 10 seconds. It's normally 20 seconds but to cool off because I've got to heat a fan I think I can afford to perhaps do it a little bit longer. And then you will have your wig tunes. The next thing is to tune your antenna. So you put it onto your antenna, outside antenna. Next, you move this for maximum noise, which is I. Have these controls roughly on the middle. Check there's no one on the frequency that you're tuning to. Push up the operator switch. Whoops. Just checking, that's it. Push up your operator switch and you'll notice 10 watts out and your SWR is 5 to 1. That's no good. You've got to get it down lower than that. You can't operate on that. So you move these two controls on your ATU. First you move the antenna and then you move the transmitter control to match the load. The idea is you're going to get that needle here to 1.1 or as near as it. Or turn up your power, 150 watts, it's match one to one. That radio is now ready to transmit. The rule is, when you're using the transmitter receiver, is to check that the band is not in use. Um, it was also worth checking to make sure the set is actually getting out. The uh, way you do it is you switch up the, power, um, the look at the power meter and you do a test. Uh, push up the operator switch to put it into transmit receive mode. Uh, press the mic locking the button down on the microphone by sliding it forward and pressing it down. Turn up the mic gain to about quarter pass. Four, four, one, two, three, four, four. It's from about 70 watts, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, testing, Mexico, 0, Papa Romeo Fox, testing, 1, 2, 3. That is pos pop putting out about 90 watts on speech. Now there we have the radio tuned. It's uh, tuned on 100 kilohertz on the 40 meter band, which is the voice part of the band. And that's roughly how you tune the FT200. You do it for maximum for dip and then you move this for power and you keep moving these controls keeping the mic gain low to get the maximum power on both. You then move the grid to get a bit more power. You then increase the mic gain and peak it for maximum power by moving these two controls. Then you turn the mic gain up to desired level at quarter pass. You finally repeat these two controls to get maximum output, and that's really all there is to it. Now I'm going to screw the front of this mic on that I took off. Make sure I don't break it. Um, so that's a little bit about how to tune the radio. Next job, when the band is better, is to do a contact. And uh, after that I will demonstrate doing multi-PSK digital modes using a vintage transceiver. So thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching this. This is Mexico Zero Papa Romeo Fox from the Radio Shack or Den or Workshop from good old Shepton Mallerton Somerset. 73's from Mexico Zero Papa Romeo Fox named Jeffrey 26 miles from the city of Bristol.